Verlicify always right. Cheaters mad. There was an update for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Guess what it fixes? All the problems! So let's go and check this out. There was an update a little bit ago about the maintenance on Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, and I was waiting for the coverage as to what was actually fixed. Version 1.1.2 of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl fixes the error in the main menu that allows access to cheats such as cloning or shaman. And that was where like all the shenanigans went down. I didn't pay attention to it because I'm not a scumbag cheater. But yeah, there was like a menu storage. There was also just ways of messing with the breeding box. And apparently even the shaman thing was patched. But that makes a lot of sense because it was kind of happen like it wasn't interfering with normal gameplay, but it was happening with normal gameplay because the surf action stored through a trainer battle and then you're surfing on land and that's just not good and you if you were like just trying to like beat out a trainer and like mash the uh, a button to surf then you can do it and then people figured out how to take it to shaman and then it got patched out so no more shaman because shaman surprise an inaccessible unobtainable event pokemon game freak doesn't want you not game freak but po pokemon company ulka they don't want you having access to that now in my video talking about these glitches as they were coming out which are clearly cheating I gotta put Shaman in like the dark gray area, but that was because I didn't know it wasn't allowed online. So yeah, you no Shaman. Like, here's the thing. If the Pokemon company doesn't want in its game, it's cheating. Which is why hacked Pokemon are cheated. Which is why breeding with a hacked ditto is cheating, and the Pokemon company has stated it's cheating because you shouldn't have any cheated Pokemon in your game at all. Breeding with a cheat still makes it a cheat. It doesn't make it any better. You might as just hack at that point. But no, idiots still try to defend it. And then the thing with the shaman, like, yeah, as time went on, I was like, yeah, the shaman's less and less acceptable. You know, there's, there's no gray area here, just disallowed in general. And another way you can tell it's cheating is because it's clear this was going to be patched out as soon as possible. Idiots were also just kind of going on like, oh, but it's in the game, so that means it's allowed, or, you know, they kept this in. No, they didn't know it existed, and then when several million people get their hands on the game, with thousands of people intent on destroying this game because they hate the creators of the game, yeah, things are gonna come out, and yeah, it wasn't allowed like they, they didn't want this it wasn't intended in any kind of way and that's how you can kind of just look in the past which is what my video was about every clone or dupe has been attempted to be banned or restricted in some kind of way all you have to do is trade a pokemon with someone else and says if you disconnect you will be locked out of trading for a while that's to prevent duping through turning off your game at the right time when trading or doing any kind of transfer or something like that um a lot of other examples Apparently, I was, like, kind of misled about the god egg. Like, the god egg is still banned. Like, the god egg is still disallowed because it's a purely hacked thing. Um, and it also, like, creates a lot of glitching things. But I was thinking about, like, there was something from Pokemon Home where it's, like, you created a missing no and then that kind of did the same thing as a god egg or whatever. Again, I don't follow these glitches because I'm not a scumbag, so I don't try to figure out everything about how they work. All I know is, oh, that's cheating, and it's gonna get banned. Oh, it got banned. So, all the Pokemon Home duping got banned, clone Pokemon and Pokemon Home were removed because all that data just kind of synced up with Pokemon Home and was removed because it's disallowed. People got banned in Pokemon Sword and Shield, and then the people that, like, were promoting the cheats and glitches, they were trying to cover it up. Like, no, no one's getting banned. No, you will get banned if you have too many hacked Pokemon because at that point, you can't claim ignorance, and that's why this is also still very risky. At any point, all of these clone Pokemon can just get you banned. Because they're, it's impossible to have the same stats. Because then it's trainer ID, IVs, um, the stats, the time met, the date met, and then the secret ID. As well as also, like, height and weight, and that's what uh, Kafotix ended up catching, like, all the world champions. On, well, not world champions, all, like, the uh, top VGC players on. All of these values and the encryption constants and all these weird things. So, yeah, that, like, at any point, when the Pokemon company finally gets fed up, the ban wave will be insane. We've also seen ban waves in Pokemon Sword and Shield for tens of thousands of players. Pokemon Sun and Moon got close to 100,000 players. And then X and Y, even going back to Black and White, there was also a tournament, I believe it was Pokemon Sun and Moon for the Japan Championship, where players that were caught cheating had to refund the prize money. And there was enough cheating to where it had to get an announcement on the Global Link website or something crazy like that. So yeah, there was just a, a lot of... A lot of bad things going on with the with the cheating, and every once in a while, Bandwave rolls through, 
and you will eventually be punished. As for the other changes, we got this. We don't know yet, so we're going to wait on, like, Kefotics and Data Mining for any other changes. Are they going to change the rates because the game is unplayable? Seems like not. 1.1.2 just seems like, okay, major glitches need to be dealt with. And then, like, little minor bugs in the code that aren't, like, creating duped and cheated Pokemon that are just minor inconveniences. Maybe it was addressed. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe this is actually intended. That they thought, hey, the chaining is fair enough to where, yeah, three IVs at a 40 chain and only a 40 chain and not carrying any further. That's fine. But, um, yeah, so we're gonna see how that goes, and the problem is, like, it went on for so long, but that's also just the problem with game design. You can't fix so, so many issues, so many massive problems instantly in a day, and also, like, Nintendo and the Switch and stuff is kind of slow to patching anyways in general, it seems. So, yeah, like, the, the damage has been done. But at the end of the day, we already knew the fact that all the scumbags were trying to deny, and that, of course, this was cheating, and of course it wasn't allowed, and... Now we just kind of see how it plays out from here. I'm still just probably going to be Pokemon Showdown only. Maybe this makes to where if I... Nah, yeah, I was about to say, like, if I wait until Pokemon Home, then we uh, then we can play, like, inside of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl. But the problem is, cheating, like, the glitch cheating, was never the real problem. People are still just PK hexing in tens of thousands of cheated Pokemon every single day. To maybe even hundreds of thousands because all you need is one switch and then a bot and then GG is he from there or just bringing in and hacking in 40 boxes of Pokemon at a time then giving them away like that so like cheating was just for the scumbags that don't have a hacked switch to kind of pretend that them taking a hacked Pokemon off of someone duping it several hundred times was legitimate when everything about it is illegitimate even from like the source Pokemon because it's like, oh yeah, I got a 6 IV ditto and then I cheated it. Well, nothing about that equation was legitimate to begin with. And then there's still, you know, like a million hacked 6 IV dittos that are already in the game. And there's more every second I talk in this video. So yeah, it's like, as long as PK Hex exists, then every game is completely illegitimate. But this was just a bigger mess. Because like I said, it was a large amount of people destined on destroying the game. And then being incredibly dis a dishonest cheater. Wow, who would have known? Then being dishonest about, like, the impact of the glitches. And then the game's still, like, kind of ruined. It would be interesting if there was, like, something to get here, but I mean, if they fixed this, I'm like, well, cool, we get IVs for breeding, but I mean, that's still going to take a long time, and then getting a 100 chain is still pretty much impossible on the ditto. It would be cool, though, like, to catch three IV dittos every single time like it used to, but now it's like, okay, it's already, like, two weeks in, and it's too late to fix all the issues, and the game was already ruined from hacking before it even came out because of piracy. And then we saw some Pokemon Sword and Shield, so yeah, really, only two things can save the Pokemon community. An official battle simulator like Pokemon Stadium 3 or Battle Revolution 2, or Copa being enforced, that way all of these fraudulent content creators get taken down for just, like, teaching children how to lie, cheat, and steal. So yeah, it's, it's cool. It's pretty much like, yay, I was right. But the Pokemon community is still just a pile of shit, so I guess it doesn't change anything. But yeah, of course you were scumbag for cheating. Duh. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you all have a nice day. Thank you very much for watching.